My name is Peter Rogin. This is Jazz Guitar USA. Have guitar, will travel. And we have some exciting information for you today, all within the space of about five minutes. So hold on to your hat because we're going to explore dominant seven chords with a color tone of a raised fifth today. And you'll find this will open up your playing and open up your harmonic palette. So you have a lot more choices and a lot more harmonic drama in your playing, which is something we're all always looking for, harmonic drama. So let's start off with the chord. We'll go into the key of C, this way we include everyone in there, people just working on the key signatures now. So here's G7, sharp five, a um, common voicing. And you'll notice that I have my first finger on the third fret on the sixth string, the note is G. Second finger on the third fret, fourth string, the note is F. Third finger on the third string, the note B. And pinky, fourth finger, on the second string, fourth fret, D sharp. So here we are. And that's going to resolve to C major 7. Take a look at how my fourth finger slides up to the fifth fret ribs the note E on the C major 7. So normally you would just have D minor 7, the 2 chord in the key of C, G7, the 5 chord, and 1 C major 7. Now we're in this colorful chord in there, the 5 dominant 7 with a raised 5th. So here's that sound. That adds a color to the five chord. So that's an important one. You might also want to try this, a chord that you probably know and you've been following the series, G13. First, first the D minus seven. G13. Notice that the pinky is out one fret from the sharp five. Then bring it back, fourth finger back, and now C major seven. Do that again. D minus 7, G13. Only notice the difference is that the fourth finger is on E. Then bring the fourth finger back one fret, lower. And if you want, pretty fancy, instead of going to C major 7, go to C major 9, which will be C, second finger on the fifth string, E on the fourth string, second fret, pinky, fourth finger on the third string. 4th fret and 3rd finger D snuck around on the 2nd string D and that's C major 9. So you got a beautiful line there. 13, sharp 5, and now C major 9. So that's pretty exciting. Start practicing that in all the inside keys up and down the board and you'll have some new vocabulary. It's been my pleasure giving you this information. If you have some questions, shoot me an email. progin09 at gmail. This is Have Guitar Will Travel under the auspices of Jazz Guitar USA. My producer, Marcos Garcia, he'll answer a lot of the questions if I can't get to them. Or if I don't know the answer, I go right to Marcos. He'll figure it out for us. Okay, so subscribe, share. Remember, the world can never have enough musicians and surely not enough good musicians. See you next time. Peter Rogine, over and out.